hello everyone today we are going to decrease suspension and you can download the project file from gumroad or patreon so let's get started so let's start with uh, this suspension without rig shift s cursor to selection and then add armature and then go to again select this shift s cursor to selection go into the edit mode and then again press shift a this will add a bone over here click on in front so we can see the bone now press r Y 180. Make sure you are in the active element. Now I will select this one and go to the X review. Now what I can do is I can duplicate both of them. Shift D and then scale. I will scale them. Sorry, individual origin and then I will scale them uh, like 0.5. It's not necessary, but just to keep thing, keep it simple and good looking. Now let's. Uh, Let's set up few constraint. To set up a constraint, we will have to go to the pose mode, then select this bone, then go to the bone constraint. Not this one. This one is object constraint, and this one is bone constraint. So go to the bone constraint. Let's rename first so we can easily we can easily uh, constraint them. This one is bottom. This one is top. No, sorry. Bottom track. This one is top. And this one is top track. You can name it whatever you like. Sorry. Uh oh. One. Yes. So select this one. Go to dump track. Now I will constrain that to this one. To the bottom. Bottom track. Now I will select this one and I will constrain that to uh, dump track. Top track. Now if I move this one, sorry, I will parent that to this one, control P, parent to bone. Now if I move the big one, sorry, we will have to go to edit mode, select this, control P, keep offset. Now if I move this, it will move along with it. And for this, we cannot directly uh, parent this to this, because it will create a independency cycle, and then the rig will not work, I mean it will work, but it will not render, if we render it as a animation. So I will go to edit mode again and then I will add another bone over here and I will switch it so just like we have something over here. Now I will select these two bone and I will parent both of them to this one, control P, keep offset. So let's go to the pose mode and check if rig is working. So as you can see the bone is pointing this, okay. Now let's parent, I will disable this for a moment, select this and then select the bone and then go to pose mode, select the bone that you want to parent to. Control P, parent to bone. Again, go back to object mode and select the bottom suspension, and then go select, shift select the armature, and then go to pose mode. Then select the bone that you want to parent to, and then press Control P, parent. Now let's test. So as you can see, it's working. Now let's do one more thing. Now I will do is what I require. What, what we can do is we can go to the limit distance, and then we, I will select the armature, and uh, just like we did last time top track now if I move this one down we cannot go we can like move it like this but we cannot go now I will push it up just like this much and now I will add another limit distance constraint and this time I will again select the top track and I will make it outside now if I move this see it's working okay now let's uh, make spring for that what I will do I will select this and will select these two vertex and then shift s cut to selection so I have a cursor over here and I can add this mesh I will press I will go to edit mode and then I will press M much center then I will select the vertex this vertex or whatever leaf then go to the modifier tab and aha uh -huh. so we need to change the pivot point so I will select this this three and then shift s so I have or maybe the bottom line uh, this bottom line now I will select this and select uh, origin to 3d cursor now I have origin over here so now when I add a screw modifier it will rotate around the origin increase this and then increase the iteration 
and just a little bit more so we have this as uh, two five should look good up two point two three and now we have this one what we can do now for now I will isolate the selection now what I want is I will apply this thing now I will just just make it straight so select this one shift s and then select all three make it to the 3d cursor and then s z 0 so now this one is straight and then it's going up, up. I will repeat this on this one also shift s select this three s z 0 so now I have this now what I will do is I will select this I will go to the convert convert to curve now we can add a thickness or depth right click shade smooth I, now I have this thing so let's uh, fix few things I will select this and I think 6 should be good uh, no 7 7.5 maybe no I will keep it 7 I will push it up uh, just about here sorry and then I will just select this one shift s now I will select all and then I will scale it in the z axis s z and about here so we have this bone I mean this spring and then we need few more bones so select the bone armature and then go to edit mode and I will need a bone over here then I will add add go to the edit mode and then it's going up and then down then up and then down okay so let's reset the position of this bone with us alt Z now it's reset it I will have to now do this again I will select the this and then cursor to selection now I will again scale it as Z make sure you are in the 3d cursor as Z and now we have this spring that we can rig select this go to the edit mode first of all let's set the cursor over here and then select the bone go to edit mode shift a and I will select this one make it active element R Y 90 sorry R X uh, rx 180 see it's pointing downward and then I will scale it now I will disable the the bevel for a few seconds so we can see it easily now I can go to edit mode enable the x-ray view then I will have to place this one over here just in the center of this spring uh, as close as possible now on the bottom G and then up just like so now I will make a cursor to selection now we will need one more bone one last bone so I added one more bone over here with the shift a now R X 90 so it's pointing this way so what I will do is now let's do few parenting and I will make it again 7 sorry 0 0.07 now go to edit mode and then just parent this bone to this big uh, bottom bone control P keep offset and parent this bone to this one control P keep offset now we are done with this one last step and we are done this is important so see carefully go to edit mode and then select this one and then go back to object mode select this spring and then select the armature then go to edit mode sorry first select this armature and then select the spring and then go to edit mode then press ctrl h hope to hope to select it object bone now we are done so see if it's working or not pause mode and see it's working now but it's not like working as a spring so what we can do is go to edit good pose mode let's rename this as well i will name it st st stand for stretch stretch or what and then i will make it st track now 
or st2 so st2 stretch 2 now i will select the st bone the stretch bone and i will add a constant stretch to constant and make sure you are in the bone property not in the uh, in the object constant in the bone constant select the armature and then select st2 let's see if it's working or not and see it's working but it's like maintaining the volume so what we can do is we can select the bone again and then click on none and then see it's working so let's hide all the other bone i will press ctrl i h to hide so we can see it easily and we have successfully rigged our suspension with the ring with the with the spring so thanks again for watching and subscribe if you haven't already bye bye see you in the next one